I've been a blacksmith armorer for over 30 years. I've created weapons for over 200 feature films. This is Man at Arms. I got a Chinese copy of the Klingon Batleth, and I wasn't that pleased with it. It's only 330 seconds, very soft stainless steel. So I decided I would do my interpretation of it. I've been a fan of Star Trek for ages, and uh, I've actually dressed as a Klingon at a friend's wedding. I didn't have a, a Batleth or anything there, but I, I did make a Klingon fork that we cut the cake with. I'm particularly fond of these. Uh, I've made Klingon Makleths, which are the single-handed weapons for Star Trek First Contact. But making a Batleth, this is the first for me. Did a quick trace of the Chinese knockoff directly onto the piece of 1075 steel and plasma cut that out by hand. After I cut out the interior handholds on the Batlet, I'd have the guys uh, take the Dynafile or pneumatic belt sander and sand off the imperfections. The plasma cutter doesn't leave a perfectly smooth cut if I'm cutting by hand. After I got the rough shape in the Batleth, I took it to the belt grinder with the 36 grit belt and ground down the profile. And I'm using a small wheel belt grinder to get in the inside cuts for the outer curved blades. The Batleth actually exceeds the capacity of my heat treating ovens. So I took it to a commercial heat treater who does work for NASA and Lockheed. And brought it back in the hardened state. It's actually as hard as a file, so it would be brittle if I ever used it. We had to take two plates of steel that were 48 inches long by 10 inches wide and uh, put holes on there to clamp everything together to straighten up the blade and put it into my heat treating oven and uh, temper it down to a more manageable state. This is gonna soften and relax, and temper the metal, make it strong enough to be a, a real weapon. Pulled the Batleth out of the electric furnace and it came out nice and straight when we unclamped it and I just got to grinding on it. Due to the sharpness and all the edges coming out from every angle, I almost cut my head off. So uh, I decided to use uh, precautions and put on a welding jacket, my leather apron, and a chainmail coif. It may have looked ridiculous, but if I hadn't worn all that stuff, there's a good chance my head would have been laying on the floor. I had to shape up oak wood spacers for the grip on the Batleth, and then wrap them with alligator embossed leather. I used the spacers just to fill in the handle. It'd be like a kitchen knife if you just had a blade coming through it. If you wrapped it with duct tape or leather, it wouldn't be that comfortable. By putting the wooden handle on there, it actually filled the hand correctly. I've made weapons for Star Trek in the past, but this one was mirror polished, razor sharp, heat treated tempered steel. This would do a number on any alien out there. Thanks for watching Man at Arms. Be sure to subscribe. Tell me in the comments what weapon you'd like to see next.